We've had a huge influx of rain the past couple weeks, which has muddied up our rivers, got all the debris off the banks and the creeks, and they're pushing out to the lake and you're left with muddy water conditions. But sitting on your butt at home, I'm gonna explain how to catch more fish wherever you are in the country if you're faced with muddy water conditions. Hello guys, Steven Turner here with Turner Fishing. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you love crappy fishing, if you wanna catch more fish, you found the right channel, welcome home. So muddy, water, crappy. Now first things first, if you just got muddy water, like if you had a lot of rain and your lake was kind of clear and now it's really muddy, wait a couple days before you take out, take your little butt out there. All right, wait a couple days because these fish are going to be like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. But after a couple days, they start turning white. Then they get comfortable, you know, but they're hungry because all the bait and stuff the bait's looking for clear water. Some of the fish are going to follow them, you know, back to the creeks, down towards the dam area, whatever. So you're going to be left with stragglers that are just, you know, tight to cover. They're going to be scared to death. They're up there on that dock pylon just shivering. They're like, man, I'm so hungry. Oh, I got to spawn in a couple weeks. And then you drop your jig on their head and they're like, oh, oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is, and then they eat it. That's what we're going to explain on today's video. Oh, so think of it like this. Muddy water fish are like Daredevil. You ever watched the Daredevil movie? They cannot see. You know, I make baits for a living, but I'm going to tell you right now, color does not matter. It, it does not matter if you throw a white, a chartreuse, a black, a gold, a silver, whatever it may be. They can't see it until they get right up on it. The first key to catching the fish in muddy water is to make them find your bait. And there's a couple different things that you can do to improve those odds. And that's what we're going to be covering on today's video. First and foremost... You know, I don't talk about them enough on the channel because it's not really something I do anymore. I used to do it a lot growing up, but throwing a spinner type bait, like a beetle spin, I don't have one on hand there in the boat, but this is a buzz bait. You know, it makes a lot of noise, but if you're using a beetle spin, we'll say, you know, you put a little minnow on the beetle, on the beetle spin, just a little minnow, just on a little trailer or something. That little spinner, if you're fishing shallow five feet or less, is a great search bait. You know, you cover a lot of water. You get to the backs of those creeks. You make multiple casts to, you know, isolated stumps and stuff. <coughs> and, you know, the, the water's muddy. Those fish can't see. And then you got that blade coming through the water. They're like, oh, oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's up here. Oh, it's a fish. And then they eat it. That's what a lateral line is, guys. Hands down, it's basically, you know, you've got a, a, an annoying gnat flying around your ears, but and then you just do that right there, like like a like a kung fu master. You get up there and get him, and then you got a fly or a gnat in your hand. That's what the crappy's gonna do to your jig when you drop it on that stump. They're gonna be like, ah, da, 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 bam, got it. So how do you improve those odds? So jokes aside, guys, this is the new OG. Uh, it comes out here in the next couple of weeks. But I realized in my bait arsenal, you know, we have the, the infamous little minion, little minnow. This thing's caught thousands upon hundreds of thousands of fish. This is a smooth bait. You know, it skips really well. It glides through the water. Uh, when the fish are feeding with their eyes, it does really great. But what I found out, you know, over the course of the last couple of years fishing muddy water with four effects sonar, I was having to use the fluke, which the fluke has a lot of ribs and those ribs are going to displace a lot of water as this jig falls in the, in the water column. And so, you know, when the fish are blind, they can feel that water being displaced by these jigs. And that's how they're going to get up there and detect them. So uh, the little minnow, you know, it's a smooth bait. We also have the, the little, 
the little stinker which displaces a lot of water but it's, it's tiny you know it's one of those finesse tactics and i really wanted a bigger minnow style bait that has you know something that displaces water so we went with the og everybody sells one of these almost every company has a two inch minnow style bait now a lot of them don't have the fork on the tail but this bait has ribs on the top and on the sides but what's cool about it is it still has that smooth bottom with that smooth bottom you're still able to skip you know 30 to 40 feet up under those docks and get to those fish but with the ribs and this fork tail it's going to displace a lot of water and as you're working this jig around these stumps dock pylons breach pylons whatever it may be this tail is going to do everything you need it to do it's going to displace that water it's going to allow that fish to detect that bait now another key uh, rig that you can also use is a slip cork with a minnow around you know isolated lay downs drops off channel swings all that and then this is back in the creeks but you can also use minnows around docks and stuff because they're going to displace a lot of water and all that too the the one of the key factors that you can put in your arsenal is scent now i'm a firm believer that if i catch a fish you know the jigs in their mouth i take the jig out i'll actually rub my jig across their face and that's my scent uh, time and time again that's my confidence thing you know i'm sure you could go buy like thump gel or just any kind of scent at walmart i'm not a, a big believer in scent but i mean muddy water they're using their lateral lines and they're using their smell in order to feed so having everything in your bowl at the same time is probably a good thing to do so you're going to have your rib baits with some kind of tail that does something whether it's a paddle tail a fork tail or just you know any kind of tail you got your rib bait displacing a lot of water got some kind of scent on it whether that's you've already caught a fish and you rubbed the jig all over it thump gel or some kind of spray wd-40 something and that's going to give you everything you need to catch crappy and muddy water you know get tight on whatever structure you're, you're fishing like i said before they're going to be super super tight unless you're using forward facing sonar i have made videos in the past explaining what they do if you're using that those fish are a lot easier to catch they'll be out there roaming in those creek channels and stuff because they feel safe in the mud but the ones that don't they're scared as crap up there shallow dock posts bridges lay downs stumps drop your jig right on the structure like you're you're gonna lose a lot of jig heads or do some crapmanjigs.com but get right next to them use a bait that they're going to feel and put you a big old slab in your boat